Hey everyone, uh, I'm back with a different game. Uh, this is uh, Europa Universalis 4. Uh, I probably said that wrong, uh, which is fine. I'm just going to call it EU4 now. So I've been uh, playing around with this for uh, a few weeks. Uh, I dropped a wad of cash on uh, everything up to like all the uh, the expansions and everything so this is uh, pretty much current as the time as of when I'm recording this I've been uh, playing around as uh, playing as Castile and uh, I think I can say that I've re have been reasonably successful once uh, and that wasn't uh, necessarily the most um, uh, exciting uh, game uh, in that one, the Ottomans uh, took over everything all the way up into here, uh, all the way down uh, in, into Pheasant, down into here. Uh, and then there's a big African Empire down here, and uh, I actually controlled everything down into most of here, right? Uh, most of it. Um, yeah. Uh, England had uh, colonized pretty much the entire world. Uh, there was a massive confederation over here that actually was wiping out the Europeans, uh, which was kind of fun. Uh, and then there was a couple of big empires operating over here. Uh, and I was losing a war in Indonesia. Right, okay. So uh, I made it to the uh, late 1700s. And I was not going to get wiped off the map even then. So I consider that to be a success, especially compared to getting practically stack wiped by France uh, the first couple of times, right? Uh, assuming I used the term stack wipe correctly there. I probably did because I got every kind of wiped by France a couple of times, right? Uh, okay, so uh, now I... Uh, I toyed with the idea of uh, playing uh, a different uh, power uh, yeah, for, for this and uh, royally messing it up. And uh, I think I might actually do that. Uh, I could play England, but I don't think that'll be exceedingly interesting. Um, I don't want to play anything in this mess over here in the Holy Roman Empire. The Ottomans seem like they'd be easy mode. Um, I thought about maybe playing a North American tribe or a South American tribe, uh, but that's got a lot of mechanics that are probably not so, uh, exceedingly helpful. I thought about playing the Ming, uh, and, uh, that was, um, an interesting thought or the Mongols. Uh, that was also an interesting thought. Uh, but uh, there's also the possibility of playing Japan, uh, right? Um, uh, where is the... Yeah, play Oda and uh, roleplay uh, forming Japan. Uh, it's um, eh, something to, uh, to consider, right? Uh, but I'm not going to do any of that, right? For, for this one, I want to play a reasonably strong uh, nation and see if I've learned anything, right? Uh, so uh, I could start out down here in North Africa, play Morocco or Tunis. Um, but then that, that leads me uh, uh, vying directly with uh, Castile and Portugal. Uh, for because they they might come after the uh, north uh, north Moroccan uh, uh, territories, right? Uh, so I thought about that. I thought about playing France, but uh, I'm not sure I want to get mixed up in that. Uh, so I decided I'm going to actually play uh, start out at least uh, play Castile, and I'm going to ultimately probably form Spain and uh, all of that jazz but we'll see how that goes um i want to see maybe if maybe i can uh, break into france before france gets big but i'm not sure uh 
what I want to do is break the Portugal England alliance, uh, a few things like that uh, early on. So I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to pick uh, Castile, right? Um, so um, yeah, that's um, that's going to give uh, give something I can get started with here. Uh, so uh, we're going to go with play. I am not playing Iron Man. Uh, I don't care about achievements, so I'm, I will save scum if things go absolutely horridly pear-shaped because of a misclick or something like that. Um, it's uh, uh, So I'm not going to play Iron Man. Uh, I'm not going to uh, reload unless something goes absolutely pear-shaped that doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, and also it allows the what ifing, right? I got killed. What if I did something different, right? So, uh, we're going to play. Now I expect there will be a lot of jump cuts here, uh, moving forward as, uh, uh, things uh, happen. This, uh, you can read this, um, uh, yourself, uh, if you get the game, uh, now. Getting started here is, uh, I think, where uh, everything goes wrong for so many people. It certainly went wrong for me. Uh, the first thing I want to do is go into the estates while the game is paused, mind you. And I want to get the uh, privileges that give extra uh, monarch points. Uh, where is it? Um... Administrative power, we want that one. Uh, we want uh, military power, plus one. Uh, we want uh, diplomatic power, plus one. Okay. Um, now, there was a couple other ones that I wanted. And I can't remember what they are. Uh, if you uh, hold on a moment, I'm going to check my notes. Okay, so I think I figured out what I uh, what I wanted to get here. Uh, so, uh, in addition to the uh, uh, the uh, wonderful uh, uh, monarch points uh, 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 um, right privileges, uh, we want the um, where is it? Uh, the uh, commercial advisory board for the burgers that gives us uh, uh, cheaper uh, advisors, right? So, and there's one for each of these. Um, uh, where is it? Right, uh, military advisors here, and we also have um, administrative advisors, right? Okay. Um, there's, uh, one more, uh, there's probably more. I can't remember what they are. Um, for the nobility, there was another one. Uh, was it, um, supremacy over the crown, I think. Um, uh, that allows, uh, uh, agendas at any time for the, um, uh, diet, right? Um, and it increases the, uh, clergy loyalty equilibrium up by 10%. So, uh, and the burgers one, um, right. Uh, clergy and burgers, uh, right. So, uh, as well as the, uh, nobility, uh, right. So if we grab that one, Okay. Uh, now, uh, we're going to, uh, there's something else we're going to do before we get too far uh, down this path. Uh, we're going to go over here. No, over, over here. Uh, now, take a look. We have our heir. Our, our king is useless, just about. But our heir is completely useless. So, uh, we want to get rid of this guy right away. Uh, and we want to do that before we go ahead and, 
uh, take one of the uh, privileges. Uh, so if we take a look here, a uh, privilege we want is patronage of the arts, I, I believe. Where is it? Uh, patronage of the arts. Gain 15 prestige, right? So if we go over here and we disinherit Enrique, we lose 50 prestige. And we definitely want to do this because any heir is better than Enrique. Uh, so we will disinherit him. Now we're down to minus 41 prestige, right? So uh, we want to go back over here. Now you can see if we go in here. Now, if we go in here, uh, now we gain 25 prestige with patronage of the art. So you want to you want to disinherit Enrique, then select this one, and this increases our uh, prestige yearly as well, and increases the loyalty equilibrium uh, that jazz, right? So we'll we'll select this. Okay, there's one more thing we're going to do with uh with the burgers uh and that is indebted to the burgers and this gives us five loans with one percent interest and we need a little bit of cash at the start and that is what we're going to do okay right um i think there was something else i i I thought was useful here. Um, uh, I think it was religious diplomats that I, I uh, wanted. Um, uh, Cause that gives uh, increased opinion of uh, of uh, the the same religion uh, places, uh, I'm not sure though. Uh, uh, we don't want any of the monopoly ones. Um, uh, clerical ministers, no. Uh, no, I think we're good. I think we're good here. Right? Okay, now we're going to go over in here and we're going to select advisors. Now over here, national unrest would be great, but we don't want to pay three gold monthly for them uh, at this point. Uh, pre the prestige one is useful. Uh, yeah, the prestige one would be useful. Uh, the inflation reduction one would be also useful. Uh, but we're, uh, especially since we're going to develop a gold province. Uh, but let's go with, um, let's go with, uh, Rodrigo here, uh, with our increase in prestige, because we want to get out of the hole prestige wise, right? Um, now we also want to, uh, go in here. Uh, trade efficiency is good. Um, these other guys, uh, again, they're uh, three gold per monthly, and that takes up a bit. So we're going to go with the trade efficiency. Uh, that will uh, improve income a little bit. Now, over here, what have we got? Manpower, 10%. Reinforce speed. Discipline, plus 5%. I think that's the one we'll go with. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Um Okay, so we're good there. Uh, okay. Now we need to select our rivals now. Uh, so we'll go in here and we'll see that Burgundy, England, and Lithuania have uh, rivaled us. Um, well... I'm wondering, uh, let's just take a look. Um, who did France rival? Uh, 
diplomacy. Uh, rivals, Austria, Aragon, and Venice. Okay, so if we rival France, uh, we might get a boost with uh, Austria. Uh, and that could be that could be useful. Okay, so we'll go back over here. No, we'll go over here. No, view us. Okay, uh, so we're gonna rival France. That does seem like it might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, then we're going to rival Morocco. Yeah, I'm going to attack Morocco. So uh, I think we'll rival Morocco. And who else? I uh, could rival Aragon just for, for the lols. But uh, uh, you know what? I'm just going to grab Lithuania uh, there uh, just, uh, just for the, the giggles right uh okay so we've got that uh now let's take a look we have 50 percent uh loyalty for all of our estates so what we're going to do is immediately seize land uh because we definitely need to get keep our crown land uh, get our crown land up and we wiped it out to zero with all of the policies right okay so uh so we've done that now uh, we want to get control over uh, Navarra, uh, and uh, we can do that uh, potentially uh, with a diplomatic uh, vassalization. Uh, so I'm going to uh, start out there. Now, we have to get lucky here because Portugal, or not Portugal, Aragon might inherit them right away. So we're going to go into uh, relations and improve relations in Navarra. Uh, they're at plus 42. We need 190 uh, there to vassalize them diplomatically. I'm going to go over here to uh, Austria. I'm going to go in here. And can we... Uh, we can't offer a royal royal marriage alliance we can't offer an alliance so we'd have to improve relations there um okay uh do i want to go for an alliance an early alliance with austria that's actually potentially useful uh if we're uh, if we have a royal marriage with austria uh we we might get something out of it uh, we might get the low countries actually uh, and that could be useful uh, something we since uh, burgundy has uh, has rivaled us uh, we can't get a royal marriage there uh, and i really wanted that just in case, just for the off chance that we could get the burgundian succession but we're not going to get that right so uh, so what I want, want to do, uh, I want to go after, uh, Portugal early. Uh, I want to take, uh, Porto, uh, Evora, uh, this guy and Lisboa, uh, ultimately. Uh, so, uh, that's going to be uh, an interesting uh, situation. Um, just like down here, I'm going to want uh, this guy. Uh, get get out of here. Uh, this guy is a gold mine, right? So if I want to grab this guy ultimately as well. So uh, I can't. I, I, I'm going to want to take Granada, but I can't declare on Granada immediately because uh, we have a truce. Uh, we start out with a truce. So uh, we have until 1448 on that. Uh, I'm going to bring this guy over here. And uh, we're going to rearrange uh, supply limit 21. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll bring him over here. Now this guy, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to send this guy off. Uh, to protect, uh, to, um, pr 
no, I'm going to split them. And I'm going to send one off to protect trade at Sevilla, right? And I'm going to send the other one off, uh, okay, to hunt pirates at Sevilla, okay? And then this guy, uh, I'm going to send down here. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to use that guy to uh, uh, deal with the uh, Straits of Gibraltar when I invade down into uh, Morocco, right? Uh, okay, so I'm improving relations here. Can I, can I send... I, I'm going to offer an alliance. I'm going to offer a royal marriage. I'm going to uh, do everything I can to uh, even down to offering a gift of gold to get uh, get uh, Navarra uh, it, it into the uh, the fold, right? Okay, uh, I don't have to worry too much about Aragon because there's an event that will get a personal union with them. Uh, you'll see that when it fires. So now, uh, I want to uh, build. Uh, I want to build some uh, cheap uh, ships. Uh, so I'm going to go in here, boats. Uh, I'm going to build some galleys in all the coastal provinces. Okay. Uh huh up here uh, just to have some extra firepower on the ocean when I am uh, fighting uh, it with North Africa here it'll uh, help keep Tunis out of things now let's just uh, check here who is uh, uh, who are we uh, they are okay who are you allied with No. And you. Oh, this is, uh, this is, this is, uh, interesting. Uh, there's no alliance. Granada doesn't have any alliances currently. Uh, Portugal has an alliance with England, right? Uh, this is, this is unusual. Uh, Morocco is not allied with Tunis. And Tunis is not allied with the Ottomans. Oh, this is going to be a North African invasion. Oh, okay, that's going to be uh, that. That could be good, because it means we don't we don't bring anybody else in, right? Um, yeah, yeah, that uh, that could be really good. Now. Okay, what's our force limit? Uh, I, can, I can't remember that. So our force limit is 33. Um, okay. Right. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna, gonna show you one other thing in here. Uh, in the missions, we've got prepare uh, for the Reconquista. Uh, and that is... Uh, that we need to get our manpower level to 60%, right? 100% force limit for Navy and Army, right? Now, we can do that with a, uh, with a mercenary company uh, for land. And these um, galleys should get us there for uh, water. Uh, and then we need the 60% um, manpower. So we need to get up to 27 uh, 60% of 27k, so about 20k, right? Um, uh, so, uh, and we can get there. That That's not a problem. That'll give us the claims on Granada, so we don't need to deal with that. Uh, what I'm going to do here, uh, do we have claims? Uh, no, I'm going to... 
I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to build a... Uh, build a spy, spy network in Portugal. Uh, I, I need to uh, fabricate a, uh, a claim on uh, Portugal so that I can... Uh, I can go ahead and grab, uh, declare on them early. Uh, while England's busy fighting France, uh, then I can declare on Portugal and uh, very likely uh, avoid having to even deal with England, uh, right? Uh, the whole idea here is we want to get high developed provinces in the uh, Sevilla trade note so we get better income, right? Now, there's a couple other things. I'm going to uh, enable war taxes, uh, right? Uh, that is uh, important. Um, yeah. Uh, and there's uh, something else. Um, we could go in here, and we've got... Um, we can view some uh, some eat. Okay, so here we want to increase in in La Mancha. We want to increase our uh, uh, our uh, 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 production number here, right? Uh, so uh, we can go ahead here in uh, in the in the uh, the state. Uh, there are holy orders, and we can enact. Uh, we could enact. Uh, uh, if we had the uh, fifty uh, uh, power here, we could enact that, and we'll get plus one production base production in Toledo, La Mancha, Albacete, Murcia and Cuenca, Cuenca, well, however you say it, uh, right? In that whole state, right? Uh, so, uh, you know, and that, that saves quite a bit of uh, 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 diplomatic power in that case, right? Uh, now, we could do the same here. We got five uh, provinces. We could enable, say... Uh, the manpower one, right? Uh, uh, or we could do that one here, right? Uh, or we could do that one up up here, right? Um, we well, we want to do it in a province with uh, five, um, in a state with five provinces, right? So this one, for instance, right? Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to enable that one there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so that gets us uh, some uh, some stuff started. Now, uh, I think the the next step here is to unpause the game and uh, uh, find out how everything goes horribly wrong. Uh, so uh, unpause uh, and see. Uh, okay, we've got an offer of an, an alliance offer from Portugal. We will not take that because I'm going to declare on them uh, once I get, uh, get some stuff uh, sorted out. Uh, right. Uh, uh, okay, we can ignore that. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, can we actually do anything here? Um, not until the 12th of December. Okay. So we'll just let, we can, let's just up the tempo a little bit here. Uh, okay, Morocco has invaded. Uh, this is why uh, these guys are coming down around here to hunt pirates. Okay. Um, okay, and on we go. Uh, we we have an alliance offer from Aragon. We could accept that. 
Uh, and that might be, uh, it, it doesn't really matter here. Uh, we could accept that. Uh, it, they're, they, they're in, uh, we will accept that actually. Um, right. Because uh, Aragon's useful as an ally at this point in time. Uh, okay, uh, that has, uh, that was the, uh, 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 the church business there. Uh, right, I think it was a church business. Um, okay, we're uh, just about on December 12th, right now. Okay, so we can go into here, we're talking to Navarra, uh, we can offer an alliance. And we'll do that. And now we're up to 97. Okay. Now we won't be able to do that again for another, uh, so royal marriage we can't offer till January 13th. But we're up to 97 here. Uh, so we'll, uh, uh, we'll let time move forward to, uh, what have we got here? Units are having casualties. Now, what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to merge these guys, and then I'm going to create a separate unit. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I only want two of these. Uh, do I only want two of those in there? Yeah, I think so. That gives us a 10 stack. Uh, that'll give us a 12 stack. Okay. Select that unit. Go park it over here. Okay. Now what have we got in here? Uh, we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 infantry. Yeah. And 5, uh, five of those. Okay. Um... Well, that doesn't break the uh, the balance there. Um, but the reason I, I want less cavalry is because they're expensive. Uh, and we don't really need more than a couple of them. So uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to take three of those out. Yeah. Uh, okay. And select this unit. And we'll add three uh, infantry to that one. Okay. And now, this guy. I could just disband. But I don't know if that's the ideal thing to do. Um, um, no, probably not. No, you stay here. Uh, no. Uh, no, you come out of here. Uh, no. Oh, for pity's sake. Uh, do that again. Uh, and... Take this guy out, reorganize. I'll take that guy up to four uh, cavalry. Uh, okay. Um, and I'll just get rid of this one. Okay. Uh, right. Now you... Uh, yeah, I'm going to want to, I think I'm going to want to go for, uh, grab, uh, Granada first, um, maybe, uh, hard to say, uh, okay, so, park you over there, and, uh, you can stay there for the moment, okay, right, 
Uh, yeah. Okay, so how is this, how close is that bringing us to the force limit? We're going to be six short of the force limit. Eight short. Okay. Uh, now, we can get to the force limit easily uh, in here if we uh, go and recruit somebody here that brings, uh, well, seven or eight. Uh, the free company would do it. Uh, but this will uh, reduce... Uh, that'll reduce professionalism. Uh, so if we're going to do that, we would all want to come in here first and uh, uh, slack and recruiting standards. Uh, and that would allow us to uh, get uh, more uh, manpower here, right? Uh, get close to the 60%. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and we can do it twice. Right? And we're close. We're at, I think we're at the 60% now. Uh, professionalism's down to nothing. Uh, but, uh, oh, uh, we can also assign our existing leader there. Yeah. What does he have? Uh, no siege. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay, now. Uh, now we can go in here and we can grab the... Uh, free company uh, here. We can park them up here, right? Uh, okay. Uh, actually, I think I want to park these guys up here as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, okay, let's get back the political map. Uh, we're going to have a little bit going on there. Um, right. So, we... Uh, we can go ahead and move forward to January 13th. Oops. Uh, we've got uh, here a clergy thing. Uh, don't meddle with the clergy. Gains 10 influence. Lose 57 ducats. Uh, no. Don't meddle with the clergy. Okay. Um, don't want to lose more prestige right now. Uh, Sophia is a seat of New Cardinal. Yeah. Okay. Good. And along the way here. Uh, Navarra is offering a royal marriage. Uh, will uh, accept it. That boost by 25. That's actually good. Um, that means our uh, we can get a, a little bit further in our diplomacy. Um, okay. Um, is it under relations? No. Is influence proclaim guarantee? Uh, we could proclaim a guarantee. Um, yep. Uh, so I think that's what we'll be doing. Uh, proclaiming a guarantee. Uh, okay, I think we can do that now. Uh, proclaim guarantee. Confirm. We're up to 135. Um, now. Uh... Okay, um, no, access actions. Uh, we can offer milis military access in February, uh, which we will, uh, no, we do not do estate statutory rights ever. Uh, it is not a good deal, uh, so we won't do that. Uh, I never thought it was a good deal when I was uh, playing through here. What have we? Uh, royal marriage offer from Aragon. We don't need to accept that. Um, we already have an alliance, though. So, uh, why not? Uh, okay. 
uh, because it's not going to take a diplomatic slot. Uh, how are things? No, we're we're going to deal with Navarra first. Um, we got to wait till February fifteenth. Um, okay, there is something we can do here, though. We can go in here, and no, uh, we can go in here, and we can go into uh, uh, the state, and we can uh, get uh, plus one base production. Poof. Okay. And here uh, we can get base tax, I think. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, we could. Um, so we're going to do that too. That's just that just got us. Those three got us fifteen development across the uh, the nation, right? Um, so we've done that. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Uh, so we were waiting for, uh, what were we waiting? We were waiting for, uh, February 15th. So we'll just let, uh, February 15th come around. Okay. We're in February. Uh, Burgundy got a cardinal, um, 12, what are we, royal marriage offer, we will not take the one from Portugal, 15th, offer military access, confirm, that got us another 10, uh, okay, uh, so we're up to 147. Economy actions. Uh, uh, we can't. Uh, we can't do that till March 16th. Uh, we, a cardinal in France. Okay. Uh, so uh, when March 16th rolls around. Uh, we should get uh... right uh, so that's why we need to get our prestige up right uh, so we need March um, 16th is it uh, send, uh, yeah, March 16th. Okay, send gift. Um, improve relations by 25. Nope, it'll only be 25. Okay. Confirm that. That's 174. Uh, now uh, we're going to need something, one more thing, to get uh, to get the uh, relations up. Now what do we have? No nope. influence. Uh, yeah, we have to have 190. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, then, uh, is there anything else under economy actions? Uh, can we give subsidies or something? Uh, we need to get to the 17th of April, right? Yes. Uh, okay, we're at the 17th of April. 
Uh, give subsidies. What does that give us? Um, uh, no, that's not the one that we want. Uh, can we? Okay, nope. Uh, we need to get up, get uh, 14 more. Um, uh, they, oh, they, yeah, uh, they don't have a fleet, uh, favors, uh, great power actions, no, um, Ask for, does asking for military access improve it? Um, nope. Uh, influence actions. Nope. Um, right. Uh, nope. Uh, well, let's try... That didn't change anything. Okay. Uh, right. So uh, I guess we're in a waiting game here on that. Uh, yeah, it's our prestige is uh, killing it. Um, right. Hundred Year War has started. Uh, okay. Uh, so we've got that. Um, okay. Um, well, uh, just before I go, I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, just before I go, I'm going to find out, uh, uh, here, how far off of our, off the force limit are, are we? Uh, two. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case, I can just add to this guy two infantry, right? Uh, now, I'll just uh, check in here. Uh, prepare. Yeah, so we're not at the naval force limit yet, and we will be at the uh, land force limit. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to put the cut here, and uh, uh, basically, uh, we're at the uh, point... I'm trying to get Navarra, uh, but... There's, uh, uh, I need an event that boosts prestige to put it over the top. And uh, I, I haven't got lucky on that. Uh, we need that before uh, Aragon uh, manages to uh, snarf up uh, Navarra. Uh, okay. Uh, and I'm just going to check to see Austria's opinion of us is plus 30. Um, uh they won't accept a royal marriage. I could send a diplomat to uh, improve relations, but yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. So uh, I guess uh, I'll, uh, I'll see everybody back next time. But before I go, I'll just mention I have a Patreon. So if you're at all interested in supporting the channel, you can go ahead and follow the link in the doobly-doo. Uh, if not, that's fine too. It's entirely up to you. And that said, uh, see you back next time.